Finance Unit Part 2 Using Simple Interest to Compute Compound Interest By the definition, compound interest is interest computed on the original principal plus any accrued interest or previously earned interest. Here's a little graphical illustration. Make a deposit. Interest is calculated. That money is added to the balance, and the next time interest is calculated on this balance, it's not only the original deposit, but also the previous interest. Thus, because there's more money, the interest is more. That interest gets added on to the original principal and the first interest that was calculated, and because that amount is more, the interest the next time round is more and it continues on through the term of the savings account. Here's an example side by side of taking simple interest and compound interest. We have the same principal, $580, 3% interest for four years. In the first year, your interest is $1740 for both of them. No difference. We're using principal times rate times time. The second year, same amount because the interest that was earned the previous year is added to the account, but it is not used in the calculation for determining the interest the next year. Versus on the compound interest side, this interest from the first year was added on or accrued to the previous principal balance. Thus, because the amount is higher when you calculate the interest, we have a gain of about 50 cents. And each year, the same thing happens. On the simple interest side, no change. On the compound interest, because the second year's interest was added on, we have a larger principal this time to calculate the simple interest. And as a result, we're up over a dollar from the first year. Fourth year, no change on the simple interest but compound interest, you can see where the previous interest earned is added to the previous balance. We're up to $633.78 acting as the principal. And as a result, each one of the years, the interest earned is that much higher. In four years, it's not a dramatic difference, but enough of a dent enough of a difference to make it worthwhile if you have an option to have money earning compound interest. This next screen we have a graph showing $500 invested at 10% for 20 years. It's the time factor that really puts compound interest way ahead of simple interest. Simple interest is graphed here in the blue and it's slow and steady through the course of the 20 years. That interest calculation on that principal investment of 500 is the same year after year after year. So that the $500 in 20 years ends up growing to $1,500. The red graph is showing us what happens with compound interest in the same scenario. $500 invested at 10% for 20 years. The first couple years the interest is about the same, but then in that fourth year, the compound interest starts pulling away. And through time, in this case over 20 years, you can see how much more the compound interest account is, starting at the same value with the same interest rate, ends up being a gain of almost $2,200, simply by the fact of having the interest compounded versus simple interest. Compound interest can be computed annually, which means once per year, semi-annually, which is two times, quarterly, which is four times per year, monthly, which is 12 times per year, weekly 52, and daily is 365 times per year. What will be the account balance if you invest $1,000 at 2.5% interest compounded monthly for four years. Well, if we use the simple interest formula here, 
we're going to look at calculating the interest monthly for this account. So we'll take that $1,000 times the interest rate as a decimal, and since it's being calculated monthly in terms of a year, that would be 1 12th of a year. This amounts to $2.08. We do that the next month, that interest from the first month gets added on. As a result, our interest goes up and continues on in this pattern. This is a four-year term, which means there are many computations to continue if we're going to use the simple interest rate method. As a matter of fact, there would be 12 calculations per year over the four years, which amounts to 48 calculations using the simple interest. That's a lot, so we're going to introduce compound interest formula in the next section.